Hey guys, it's Shane from Jags Journeys. Just wanted to give you a, a quick update uh, on uh, what's happening around the Gold Coast. So, uh, uh, theme parks uh, still currently closed. Uh, they, uh, I know Village Roadshow, so Movie World, Sea World, Wet and Wild, um, Paradise Country. They will be uh, making a decision on uh, at the end of uh, May the 31st in regards to. Um, you know when they may reopen at this point in time they're going to be remaining closed and then what the future looks like for those parks who would know dream world i haven't heard anything more yet so i'm guessing probably the same sort of thing uh, i'm actually at dream world right now so we're just having a look behind me obviously the car park is there's a few there's a few cars here there'd be some security staff some animal uh, staff uh, and it's also the first birthday of uh, the Tiger Cups today, so happy birthday to the Tiger Cups here at Dreamworld. So yeah, there'll just be minimal cars here. Uh, other than that, there's nothing at all going on. Uh, there's the buzzsaw right behind me. There's the entrance to Dreamworld and the white water world uh, is over here. We've also just heard this morning that Queensland is relaxing restrictions from next week. So essentially the first weekend of May. Uh, you can drive 50 kilometers uh, away from your house for a drive. You can have picnics. You can go to some non-essential shopping, more clothing, footwear, that kind of thing. Uh, they still want you to go straight home again. At least there's some easing off some of these restrictions. So things are starting to uh, get back to some normality here in Queensland. The good news is for Queensland that the situation with this uh, uh, COVID-19 is actually um, not as bad as other places in the world. So we're very, very lucky here. However, we still need to be practicing social distancing and the uh, theme parks, that's gonna be really difficult. Their whole, I guess everything they do moving forward is gonna be completely different. So, um, you know, it'd be interesting to see once they come back online, how it all looks, how they keep their social distancing happening at the theme parks. And in regards to rides, that obviously have to stagger the ride, uh, people on per ride, which would again put uh, cap rider capacity numbers down. Uh, so that, in my opinion, they'd probably have to restrict capacities into the park to actually make that work. So anyway, now we're just going to show you a little bit of the uh, theme parks from the distance, uh, looking in at the closed parks. And this is the car park at Water Brothers Movie World. Uh, also, very empty. Obviously, it's closed, no one here. We've got the Green Lantern roller coaster and that wing. real shame to see these parks close like this obviously it's for the best interest at the moment and all around the world all the theme parks are all closed I think some might be starting to open now in China just slowly um, yeah real shame 
but they will open again soon. Um, I think May 31st, like I said, will be uh, they'll be making a decision on when they will reopen or partially reopen. Not sure yet. And this is the uh, Gold Coast Top Golf Venue. Also currently closed because of the restrictions at the moment. This venue's probably been, only been open, um, I think it's coming up two years. It's not, not long at all. And then we've got the Village Ratio Studios, movie studios in behind Top Golf here. Um, they've ceased filming on a lot of productions at the moment. And then Australian Outback Spectacular, which is a themed dinner show arena restaurant experience, dining and show experience uh, on the Australian Outback. That's also closed. Again, we're waiting on. Any kind of announcement, this arena in the Outback Spectacular holds a thousand people and obviously you sit right next to each other so I would imagine they'd have to do a considerable amount of work in regards to the distancing when it comes to the restaurant and the capacities, uh, the bar area and at, uh, at night before the show is usually jam packed with essentially a thousand people um, shoulder to shoulder so a lot of decisions moving forward on on venues such as this um, yeah it's a real shame these attractions make the Gold Coast these theme parks and dining uh, shows you know, there's a lot of other attractions and shows in the Gold Coast around the world obviously affected at the moment um, but as soon as things ease and restrictions lift on most things hopefully the economy will start coming back and people can get back to work which is the most important thing and then we can start providing more content as well Wet and Wild Gold Coast, the biggest water park in the Gold Coast. Again, on a day like today, it's around about 27 degrees. This place would be extremely busy, um, given it's a weekend as well. Normally there'd be hundreds of people queued all up those stairways up there for these slides, but obviously it's just empty, no one there. Real shame. Village Roadshow Studios. Once again, nothing going on there at the moment. Uh, just out of interest, that sound stage right there, we're looking at the movie that was filmed on the Gold Coast, San Andreas with uh, The Rock. 
the first scene where there was a car coming down a, a cliff top um, that side of that building was actually used and they created the cliff top on the side of that building just a fun fact This is the SeaWorld car park. And that's SeaWorld up there. Just zoom in a bit. See, we would actually have the um, entrance to the car park um, over here cordoned off because there's no car parks open at any of the beaches across from here. So to stop people parking in here, that's all closed off. So I've just walked through a little walkway um, myself to get into here. This would normally be pretty full on the weekend. So hopefully these parks will all be open again real soon. Fingers crossed. Uh, just a fun fact, um, if you've watched the original Scooby-Doo movie, the first movie, uh, that lifeguard tower here at Main Beach was featured in that movie. At, right at the start of the movie and the Scooby van was parked over here with Scooby and Shaggy. So if you look for that movie, Lifeguard Tower number 40 here at Main Beach Gold Coast. And also, this pavilion, this pavilion was also used in that movie. As far as Jake's journeys, uh, again videos, very hard for us to do any content at the moment, essentially because all of our content is theme park based or events based, anywhere where there's people, large gatherings, uh, that's us. So unfortunately, we won't be releasing a lot of content for now. We had a massive year planned this year. We had overseas travel booked to the USA. We had a lot of content planned for that alone. So that's now had to be canceled and we're essentially doing different things. So we're waiting for restrictions to lift in terms of what we can do. Um, however, in the interim, we do have videos online for you to watch uh, at the moment. So please enjoy those. We'd really appreciate it. If you haven't already done so, if you could please subscribe to Jag's Journeys. It would really help us out a lot. We're just trying to grow this channel. We're only new YouTubers. We do appreciate your support. We appreciate you liking our Instagram and liking our Facebook page, Jake's Journeys. And please share our videos and like our videos and get your friends also to subscribe to our channel. Uh, even though we had to cancel a lot of plans and change a lot of things, next year will be different. And you know we will have travel uh, planned again when we can, particularly to the US. Although we are being very cautious about traveling over there given that the situation over there is a lot worse than here. So we don't want to go there until it's extremely safe to do so. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Good to see you again. Thanks again for all your support. Uh, that's us from Jake's Journeys for now. And uh, until next time, we'll see you on the next journey. Stay safe.